Hey guys, it's Anthony, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about why you might be failing problem challenges and the number one thing to focus on to overcome that. Or possibly you just, you can't get that first payout, you know, you've passed, but you're just struggling to get that first payout. This is the video for you. So make sure you stay all the way to the end. Real quick, I've been trading for four years. It took me just over two years to become consistently profitable. Lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned, lots of pain, but over time it became more consistent. And I believe that you will as well if you're not already. So without further ado, let's dive into this video. Hit that thumbs up button if you appreciate it. It lets me know you like these kind of videos and I can keep making more of them. And now let's dive into it. The number one reason why most traders fail prop firms consistently and will continue to is due to a flawed trading plan. And what I mean by that is not having correct sizing. If you just think about this with prop firm trading accounts, most of the prop firm accounts we're going to be using are the 50k accounts. The 50k accounts have the best drawdown to reward target that you have to hit. And that could be either 2000 or 2500. So if you have a $2,000 drawdown or $2,500 drawdown, you have to ask yourself, okay, I've back tested, I've gotten this strategy, I've built my edge and my edge is profitable over months and months. But the problem is we're trying to pass these prop firms in, in one week or two weeks uh, or two trades. And it just, if you think of it logically, it's like, why would you, if you, if you had your own personal account, you would never risk your entire account in one, two, or even three trades. And if you did that, you're going nowhere in trading. So I think it helps to relate these prop firm accounts to what would you do if it was a real account? And what I mean by that is you don't have a 50 K account. Like obviously we understand that we have a $2,000 account or a $2,500 account because that's what the drawdown is. So if you just, if you have that in your head, like, okay, I have a $2,000 account because that's my drawdown. Now you say, okay, how much of that 2000 drawdown am I willing to risk per trade? Because I know I already have the edge. I already know how it is profitable. Now you have to discover what's the worst drawdown my edge can go through. And uh, I mean, anyone's trading strategy can go through five losses in a row. I don't care how high the probability is, it can go through five losses in a row. And you know that, I know that, we know that, right? Figure out what your strategy, what you tested over many months, what's the worst drawdown that could happen. And then you you size based on that worst drawdown. So you know one of my strategies does have a five loss uh, worst drawdown. It, it's never gone to six in all my data. It hasn't had six losses in a row, but it's had five losses in a row. So because of that, I just have to ask myself, okay, what kind of size do I need to use to be able to take four losses in a row and be able to pull the trigger again on the fifth? Or take five losses in a row and have some room less left to pull the trigger again on the sixth? because that's what I've tested in my data. That is the key for everyone to pass and get their first withdrawal. Now, I like to trade the evals a little more aggressively than the PAs. I do twice the size. If I'm trading an eval, I may size that way. I have to take three or four losses in a row to lose the account. And that can happen for sure, right? It happens every couple months maybe in my trading strategy, but it doesn't happen very often. So high probability I'm likely to get from the eval to the PA. Now that that's checked, I reduce my size in half. And now I have to lose, let's say six in a row to lose the account. And you know, it's, it might be possible for the strategy, right? But it's very, it's, it's very unlikely. And I'm likely to, I'm very likely to at least get a, a payout or two or three before losing the account based on that sizing. And that is the key because I know my data, you know, your data as well. Now it's time to match your sizing with that data. And what does that look like? Well, it depends on what your stop loss is. So let's say you're trading NQ. Um, the problem is a lot of you are using maybe one mini or two minis on NQ. If you're using one mini or two minis on NQ, if you have a 20 point stop loss with one mini, that's a $400 stop loss, right? And if you only have 2000 drawdown, well, if you take five losses in a row, you lost the account. If you're doing two minis, then on a 20 point drawdown, you're talking about $800 loss, right? You take three losses in a row, that account's gone. That's way too large of size. And I know, and you know, that many of you are out there trading two minis or more on NQ on these 50 gig accounts. And that's completely unacceptable. Um, for me personally, what I do is I trade, let's say about one mini on the eval stage. And then I get to the PA stage and I do like six micros or eight micros. Like I, I really do far less size. I don't even do one full mini on the, P, the PA accounts because that's where I am going to be having consistent withdrawals and it shows. So all this to say, you can be more aggressive in the eval, but you once you get to the PA, you want to have sizing 
where it's going to take more than five losses in a row to lose the account, preferably six to 10 losses. So go do, go do your homework, go get all your back testing, get all your data, and then figure out, okay, what kind of size can I use? So that way, when I do get to the PA, I have to take six to 10 losses in a row to lose the account. You choose how risk, you know, how risky or how risk averse you want to be. Um, but six to 10 losses before losing the account, do that. Uh, and then take a step back eval phase, minimum of five losses in a row. You kind of want to run it with, Hey, I'm going to take a certain size. So that way I have to take five losses in a row to lose the account. And that size could take you one month to pass, but that's normal. One month to pass is normal. And you know, God forbid it takes you two months to pass. At least you have the account and you're getting in the reps of following your trading plan hundred percent. You know, just getting the reps in of, of following your hundred your trading plan 100% is far more worth it for your profitability in the long run. So quit trying to rush this process and building terrible habits of using signs that causes you to lose the account if you just take three losses in a row or two losses in a row. People are doing ridiculous size. It may not seem like ridiculous size because the prop firms give you a lot of size, but it is ridiculous size. No one should be trading more than one mini even on a 50k account no one should ever be trading more than one mini on a 50k account they should be likely anywhere between three micros and one mini that's that's honestly the range for 50k accounts depends on how big your stop loss is of course if you're scalping if you're going for bigger stop losses and bigger targets whatever that's going to be do that homework for you let me know in the comments down below if this video helped you. Subscribe for more videos just like this one. Again, my goal is to help you become a more consistently profitable trader. Again, I'm just trying to help you be more consistent and get those payouts. Do the work. Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.